courage. Bravery doesn't mean fearlessness. It means we do not let fear hold us back from exploring new opportunities, developing our skills, and doing what is right. Courage is simply another trait that can be developed with intentional effort and practice. All it takes is the determination to recognize your fears and the willingness to choose to act despite them. Courage was not the absence of fear, but their triumph over it. A brave man is not one who does not feel afraid, but is one who conquers that fear. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. I stand on His promises daily. Remember, don't just accept whatever comes your way in life. You were born to win. You were born for greatness. You were created to be a champion in life. Certainly, other people can pray for you. They can believe for you. They can quote scripture to you. But you must exercise faith for yourself by stepping into the door that He has opened for you. God has His plan. He is in control. He is implementing that plan for you and I right now. And that's it. I'm just like you. I have the same fears you do. And the difference between the ones that are where you want to be in life or in the insurance business, let's be honest. There are a ton of multiple six-figure earners in this industry. Income produced by selling insurance. No overrides. Just personal production. What is the difference between the ones that have that success and the ones that don't? The difference might shock you. It's not the skill set. That's something you learn by doing. It's called the school of hard knocks. The only way to learn it is by failing forward. It's not the skill set that sets us apart from the successful agent or from the average Jack and Jill that might struggle in this business. What separates you and I from those that have a nine to five job and those that are, are successful and unsuccessful or marginally successful in this business, which I'm talking about the life insurance business, mortgage section, final expense, advanced product sales. You ready? This is something that you can all do right now. All it takes is a decision. You see, in that moment that you watched, I was up against the wall financially. I didn't have $4,000, but I had to sit there and decide, am I going to take the chance on myself? Am I going to take the risk on myself? Do I have confidence in myself? Do I have confidence in my coach? Do I have confidence in my team that if I make this commitment, I'm not alone? I have people to reach out to. And if I utilize the team resources and I show up every day, I will be successful. This is something you can all do right now. No matter where you're at in the business, whether you're brand new or you're in, you've been struggling. All it takes is a decision. What separates you and I from those who cave and run back the security of a 9 to 5, and we all know that 9 to 5 is not secure. When the federal government can shut it down because of COVID or whatever, put businesses in, out of business and employees out of jobs, it's not secure. Through nothing that you've done wrong, by the appearance of a new strain of something, the fear of something being as bad as COVID-19 was, to be shut down again preemptively for two months. And that's just a really hard way to operate a business. I'm on the verge of tears because this is the most heartbreaking situation I've ever been in my entire life. Watching your baby grow and then someone just taking a baseball bat and knocking you with the kneecaps. Camille Whitworth has been running the Victory Bar for 11 years. COVID has decimated the former broadcaster's business, and the mayor's Mardi Gras lockdown orders may close Victory for good. 
Mardi Gras is essential to us because the money that we make from Mardi Gras gets us through those slow summer months. And now it's all come to a screeching halt. I'm coming out of my pocket to pay my employees. I am working other jobs. It's not secure. What is secure is you. You owning a skill set. If you own that skill set, that will produce, allow you to produce income from anywhere, home, RV, B&B, the beach, doesn't matter. Then you own your income, you own your life. But the difference, what separates you and I, is we show up. I decided a long time ago, I will control what I can control, and I can control always showing up. I may fail, but it will not be because I was sitting on the couch watching TV or in my bed on my day off from the 9 to 5. When I had the opportunity to be in a training with others that are where I wanted to be, I showed up. Even when we may have lost everything, we showed up. When everyone is giving up on us, our girlfriends, our spouse, our kids, our coaches, when they've left us, we show up. When we're on the last mile, and I've been there, okay, that video at the beginning wasn't that long ago. You know, one day from foreclosure, one day from being overdrawn in the bank, one day from being forced to give in, one day being forced to give up on our dream and get a job, we show up. That was my moment of decision. I was sitting in a room staring at the desk that I purchased where agents used to sit and work to sell life insurance under my agency. And then after COVID, one by one, they all quit and ran back to the security of a nine to five. That's actually a quote. He wanted to have a more sustainable business than the insurance business. And today he's out of business, working for minimum wage with a boss that he hates. That is not a sustainable business. That's a man-made prison that you walked into voluntarily and threw the key away. I'm sitting there, everyone gone but myself. I'm $40,000 in debt just for the office. All the expenses are now on me and me alone to cover. We're still tied up in a lease that we no longer need and can't afford. Everyone's left. None of them kept their word that they would show up with me and build something great. Not even my own kids. But we showed up, sat at our desk, picked up our leads, and made the dials, booked some appointments, and sold some insurance. Why? Because that is what we could control. I cannot control someone else not having the courage to gut it out. That's on them. You see, we're not like everyone else. We are different. Because when everything is lost, and all your friends and family have left, you only got two choices. And I learned this from Angela. You got two choices. Either you push in or you push out. That's it. You roll the dice on you. Give it your all. Your all. Night and day. Fight for your dream of independence. Because in that moment, it's not your skill set. It's not your talents. It's not your trainings. What makes you different is you choose that option to push in and do more. To never give up, never give in, never turn over the keys. You push in, not out. You bear down, you pick up the phone, you dial your leads, you dial your friends and family, you look for referrals, you find ways to have conversations about what we do for them and their families through life insurance. Everybody you meet needs our product and you set appointments. Even while you're fighting the electric company, the landlord, your bills are due, you push that aside and you focus on what you can control, which is your mindset, your fight, your determination to not give in, to not give up. Despite everyone quitting on their own dreams and their own goals, you decide. If you're going down, you're going down fighting. That is because people like you and I understand what bravery means. We go forward despite being afraid. We are fighting for our dream of being an independent business owner with liberty and independence by owning our own income and owning our own life and our future. Our minds are the most important skill set that we have if you train it properly. With the right mindset, we can always count on us. Why? Because at the end of the day, you and I, we will show up. And if we fail, it will not be because of something that we could control. During that time of mine, I was the same as many of you right now, sitting in your home, working this business virtually. 
I was scared. I would not succeed. I had just put down $4,000 for leads one month. Money that we needed to pay our bills, I spent on leads. I know it's counterintuitive. That's why it takes most of you out of the business. I was scared. I was not good enough to make the sales. I sat at my desk and everything I had was that I needed them to show up for our scheduled virtual appointment. But inside me, I was praying that they wouldn't because I was scared I would fail the presentation. I know many of you go through these same thoughts, but what separates those that fail and those that push in rather than out is even scared I would fail and let my family down. I did it anyway. I did it anyway. Freedom is worth fighting for. And as we celebrate our nation's independence, your independence and liberty is just as important, if not more. We live in a free country. Why shouldn't you be free? There's way too much life to live to be stuck in an office nine to five, playing a game that even if you were at the top of your game, it will never give you the freedom, independence, and liberty that you deserve. I've often said that there's way too much that life has to offer you and I. We are all placed on this earth with a unique God-given talent and skills that we should be pursuing and using to help others. But there's one thing standing in the way. It's the money thing. Get that handle early and the rest of your time is spent doing what you were born to do. The, every July 4th, these thoughts go through me because we're celebrating our nation's independence and many of you will never celebrate your personal independence and liberty because you just wouldn't show up. Hey, listen, I hope this video impacts you. I hope it makes a difference. I hope you train your mindset to push forward, be brave, even while scared. Make sure you have that correct support system around you, the proper training, someone that you can call that's available to support and help you, coach you, mentor you, teach you this business step by step, day by day, before, during, and after the appointment. If you have that, then show up. The numbers will always work in your favor. If you don't, my contact information is at the end of this video, and we're getting ready to release a full course, paint by the numbers, on how to succeed from the comfort of your home. If that's something you'd like, there's a link in the description. Get on the waiting list. We're probably 30 days out. Happy 4th of July. Again, this is Steve Houston. First, let me say thank you again for clicking on this video. I hope that I brought some value for the time that you invested with me today. Remember, on this channel, we talk a great deal about the insurance industry, how to succeed, how to get started, and how to have long-term success. But with that, as many of you know, the video I released a few days ago, I wanted to share more of the reason, the why, for becoming a life insurance agent, the day-to-day, -day, the struggle, and the wins. And we focus on what this industry will provide you as I have mentioned to you before, my mentor told me a very long time ago to make sure the game you decide to play will give you the lifestyle you dream of once you achieve success and win that game. Otherwise, you're going to be vastly disappointed and start over with something else. That's it. That's only if you have enough time left in your life to start something else. In other words, if you want a 10,000 square foot home and a Maserati in the garage, you might not want to be a plumber unless you plan on opening a few hundred locations, right? So today I wanted to share that with you. Something I wrote down a few days ago after talking to a few of my agents, and that is this. I'm just like you. Look, I know that watching videos on YouTube takes time. It takes an investment. It's a distraction at times, or the distractions going on while you watch the video. And for the time that you took out to watch this video today, I'm grateful. Thank you. Leave me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Let me know you get something out of this, that you're enjoying the content. Leave me a comment if you'd like. I read every single one of them. And that being said, God willing, I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day. And the next time we have a nation's 4th of July celebration, you not only will be celebrating the nation's liberty and independence, you'll be celebrating your own. Bye-bye. See ya. Hi, my name is Steve, and this is... Angela. And we're making a living 100% virtually, anytime, anywhere. While making a difference. Living the dream. While we travel the country. And we can help you do the same. Come along with us. We're grateful you're here. Subscribe to the channel and like the videos. Bye. Goodbye.